enough to eat. If it has no smell and no blemishes, it should be just ripe enough to carve. Normally, we don't want something that's very soft because we are going to be using sharp implements and we don't want something that's so soft that uh, we would just go right to it and injure ourselves. Okay? Sometimes that's all you have. Well, if that's all you have, then getting used to using the tools and having a light touch on it will help much more. So, okay. That little piece comes out of there. think one more right about there so you can begin to see the look that we're getting here and as you do this initial cut you want to make sure that you just don't go straight down you want to give it a little bit of little bit of curve to it so Almost halfway to cut these some of these little broken pieces here. You know, as you're watching me do this in real time, it's this is not a uh, necessarily a, a high skill level, but it is time consuming because you just can't do this at a very rapid pace. So uh, I encourage you to uh, grab a melon and sit down and just have some nice quiet music behind you and actually make one of these. Now, could we have gone all the way to the bottom? Yes, we could have. But since light does not bend and go around corners, there's no reason to go all the way, all the way around, and all the way, uh, I mean, all the way to top to bottom, because no one will see it. Okay. So, you can see that this layer here is going to be much narrower than the previous one. So, no one will, no one will fault you. You were just following the marks on the surface. So, all righty. All right, three to go, almost there. So, and again, this motion of uh, when we go from side to side, what you're doing is you're doing a zigzag motion. So, I encourage you to kind of get used to that in and out type of motion. Now, some people say, why don't you use the... Uh, the uh, larger serrated cutters, it won't give you the uh, curvature that you need. It'll just be very utilitarian in, in its appearance. So, again, this is your chance to cut loose with your creative juices here. And I think that's pretty close. All right, two to go, and we're almost there. So.
the larger the space you cut between these, of course, the less of them you have to make. The closer you cut these to one another, the more you will have to make. Okay, and I'm just taking out the little pieces in between the uh, layers here. Kind of cleaning it up a little bit. All right.